It is time for Ryan's Roses. As a public service, if something's going down in your relationship and uh, you are concerned, you can send us an email and we'll see if you want to go on the air to try and find out more. So it's a public service. And you can send us whatever your story is. Then decide later if you want to go on the air. Ryan at KissFM.com. This one says, Dear Ryan and Sissini, my husband, been acting odd. Less talkative, more private than usual. I question what it all means, but in my heart, in the pit of my stomach, I think I know. On top of all that, he recently told me that he has to take a trip in April and suggested I get someone to come help with the kids when he's gone. He never takes work trips, so this is odd, and especially over a weekend, this has never happened. It's Vicky in Chino Hills. Let's get Vicky now. Vicky, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Usually, if you've got this strong a feeling on the inside, something is, is, well, certainly something's not right, but something might be going on. So we have all the information from your email. How long have you and your husband been married? Eight years. Okay. And he's never said he's got, I mean, c- could he possibly, I mean, is there any reason he could have a work trip over a weekend? I honestly, all the time that I've known him, never has he taken a work trip. I don't understand. I mean, he's had opportunities and he's turned it down because he doesn't like to take work trips. Mm. So I, I don't even know anymore. It's like, this is the weirdest thing that he's done. I don't know. Okay. We are going to get right to this and make the phone call to your husband and find out what is going on and where he is going on that weekend. Hang on one second, Vicky. That's what we're going to do next. All right, Vicky's on the phone. She's married uh, eight years. Her husband, acting strange, not engaged, less talkative, uh, a little sketch. And now all of a sudden he's got to go out of town over a weekend for a work trip, which is not within the realm of, of normal. So we're going to... Get Vicky and Vicky, if you would just say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then whatever your husband's name is on Kiss FM. Go ahead. Okay, Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. FM. We have that, and now what we're going to do is we're going to call your husband on the air. Um, Mm -hmm. Sisney is going to offer him some roses. We will all listen in, but we will stay very quiet. Once I tell him he's on the air, then we will bring you in. But stay quiet until then. Look, we want to find out who's top of mind. I mean, we're offering him flowers. So mm-hmm. who does, who's top of mind? Who does he want to send them to? And, of course, is there any sort of sentiment on the card that gives us more information? Okay? Okay. okay. Good luck. Quiet. Here we go. Thanks. Hi, is this Matt? Yes, it is. Hi, Matt. This is Gloria. I'm calling from Gigi's Flowers. We're actually located by the shops in Chino Hills, right on Peyton Drive. Uh Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, so the reason I'm calling is because we're offering a chance for local residents to send free flowers to anybody that they'd like today. Um, It's a dozen red roses. They're absolutely free, and you can send them to anyone that you'd like. Oh, that sounds great. Um, actually, right now, I'm, I'm good. I don't need to, to send them to anyone. Oh, thank you, you sh- for calling. Are you sure? They're, they're free. I don't need credit card info, anything from you. I mean, you just hope that hopefully you're, you know, whoever receives them likes them and then you refer us to friends and family. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm good, though. I don't, I don't need any flowers right now. Are you, there, there's nobody in your life that you'd want to put a smile on their face today? Of course there is. But, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't need to. It'll to take two seconds, honestly. It won't, it, I just need the name of the person you want to send them to and a quick note, and we can get them off by, they'll get them by lunchtime right. today. Thank you for calling. If you could take me off the list, I don't need to send any flowers to anybody right now. Um, oh. Matt, it is Ryan Seacrest and Sissini. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio right now. I need you to know that. Uh, reason we're calling is, frankly, your wife has asked us to call you. Vicky is on the phone with us, Matt. And Vicky is. Why? What do you mean? Why? Whoa. She's your wife. Why am I on the radio? Why is she? What, what? Why is she on the phone with us? What's going on here? Well, she has asked us. As I was saying, she has asked us to call you because she is questioning some recent behavior of yours, specifically mm-hmm. this trip that you've scheduled for work to go out of town over a weekend, which she thinks is suspect. Vicky, I'm just being candid. And she's yeah. concerned that maybe something is going on outside of your marriage and that you're messing around. Vicky, is that accurate? Well, if he did want to send the flowers to someone, what does that mean? That's, he, he's, 
Yeah. I think he's just this prison. He's trying to hide something. In this whole trip, it, I, I, I don't even know. I mean, he's, not, he's in the hot seat, so I just want him to explain himself a little bit here because I don't know what he's thinking. Vicky, I am so shocked right now. I'm, 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 this is incredulous to me. That I what, what's believe. going on then? There is, what is there's nothing why going are on. You, like, you think that there's somebody no. else? Is this why you did this? It's exactly. I mean, I don't know. That's what I, that's what you leave. You leave me in the dark. I have no idea what's been going on with you. I try to talk to you every day. And now all of a sudden, usually you have all these stories and you tell me all this cool stuff. And like, we we're always talking during the day. And now it's just like one word answers. And then you're like, oh, I'm taking a work trip. What's that about? You never wow. take work trips. Yeah. If you just need someone else, just be honest with me. Just don't just don't make me have to guess and just have to suspect things. Just, just say, just say whatever's going on. Vicky, the the intention wasn't to make you worried. Um, the, <laughs> this trip that I'm taking, it actually, I actually planned a a getaway for the two of us. We're gonna head over to Palm Springs, and I wanted it to be a surprise, mm-hmm. which is why, which is why Vicky, that's why I said we have someone watch the kids. I, I wanted to have them covered so we could go because you're, you're with them all the time. Mm-hmm. You needed a break. And the reason I haven't been talking much is because I, I thought I was going to spill the beans. I thought I was, Man. I was afraid I was going to oh say something. And then I, I just can't believe that. I mean, I, I really feel terrible that you thought <gasps> there was something more than that. Yeah. That you went to no. this. I didn't even know what to think. I was like, our whole family is going to be, I thought, absolutely the worst. And I just, I didn't know how to ask. And it, I just, oh, you really played me. a weekend. You really played a trip. Yeah, really? I'm really sorry that I, I told you, but it's, I actually was doing it for you. Hey, you not, to over, not to overstep, but how do we know, Matt, that you already planned this trip? How? Because, uh, how would I maybe would maybe you're just reacting to... This call and look, your wife's concerns. This, this, these are things that were building up, and she was feeling something. How do we know that you just didn't change the story here? Well, because my wife knows who I am, and that's—I mean, that—that that it's just who I am. I, I, I she spends day and night with them. I work, you know, I'm, I'm gone early, come back once the kids have eaten, and like I wanted to do something for her. I give her a break, even when the kids were on. Uh, break from school, yeah. you know. She's she's with them full time, and I I wanted to do something for her. I, I, Which I don't is, know how to justify it other than that for you. Great, mm-hmm. Vicky. Only you are going to be the one to. I mean, you you're the only judge here on whether or not he's being genuine. I, I just worry. Do you love your wife? Do I love my wife? I love my wife very much. Of course I do. This is why I'm doing all this for her. You think it's easy not to share everything with her? Yeah. No, I th- I'm sure that's hard, but there's a reason that we're all on the phone here. So, Vicky, do you believe Matt? I, w- I want to, I really want to believe him. I mean, I don't know. I always say to him, I, I mean, like, oh, I wish it was just you and us sometime. I love the kids. You know, it's like, I wish we had more time together. And yeah, it's actually something we used to do when we were dating. We'd go to Palm Springs for the weekend. So, yeah, yeah I, I really believe that. Well, yeah, we're going to leave it there. I think we've gotten most of the information that we can get, Vicky and Matt. Matt, thank you for taking yeah. the time to explain on the air. And Vicky, thank you for listening and reaching out. And we wish you the best of luck. I hope this is a great weekend. Thanks, Thanks. Okay. Thank All right. Um, thank you. Have fun on your trip. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't believe Matt. I think he just covered himself mm, right there. That was, to me, that was classic cover-up. Interesting. I, this is what I'm thinking because she had a lot of feelings leading up to this, and right? So I don't think he was being that sketchy because he was planning a getaway. And why didn't he send the flowers? To well, her he was wife? almost offended that you were on the telephone talking to him about flowers. Yeah, I have to say to you honestly, Sissini, yeah. I I just do not believe him. I just don't, uh-huh. and it'd be very interesting to see. Well, if you heard that Ryan's Roses, I'm very curious to know if you believe him or if he just covered himself. And if you missed it, we'll tell you what we're talking about. But it sounds like she, I think she believes him. I kind of believe him, too. Well, I'm just I, I'm just telling you that. I, I'm pretty clear on this one. I don't know that he can make up that whole story on the spot, especially because she might now see it. Okay, where's the reservation? Let me see it. I'd be curious to know. 
Should we get back to Ryan's roses? Uh, Vicky sent us an alert, and Vicky said, okay, so something's going on with my guy, my husband. His name is Matt. He's being strange. He's being sketchy. He's not talking. He's not engaging. Something is clearly up. Now Mm -hmm. he has said, hey, uh, I got to take a business trip over a weekend. Sorry. Um, you know, that's that's what I got to do for work. And she's like, okay, that never, ever, ever happens. Mm-hmm. So we get him on the phone, and he shuts you down, Sissony. Oh, like, wants, I, I haven't heard in a long time. He wants time. nothing to do with no three thank flowers, you, me, nothing. no thank you. Take me off your list. Not even just like asking you, just nothing. Mm-hmm. Don't want to be involved. Now, that is when I started thinking, does he know it's us? Mm-hmm. Well, if he knew it was us, he probably would have played it differently by saying oh of course i want to uh-huh. send these to my lovely and amazing wife uh-huh. yeah <laughs> play but it he, up but he tried to shut you down uh-huh. then we get him on the phone and he says oh well the reason that i've been so distant and the reason why i said i had to go away for a weekend was because i was planning a surprise getaway to palm springs for us listen just listen carefully even if you missed it Listen carefully to this. I actually planned a, a getaway for the two of us. We're going to head over to Palm Springs, and I wanted it to be a surprise, which is why, which is why, Vicky. That's why I said have someone watch the kids. I, I wanted to have them covered so we could go because you're, you're with them all the time. You needed a break, and the reason I haven't been talking much is because I, I thought I was going to spill the beans. I thought I was, I was afraid I was going to say something and then I, I just can't believe it I mean I, I really feel terrible that you thought there was something more than that now you can hear her believe him yeah I believe him well what you can't hear is me not believing yeah. him but I'm telling you I do not believe a word of it I think somehow he was quick enough to cover his tracks curious to know what Genevieve in Moreno Valley first of all Genevieve thank you for listening to us in Moreno Valley how are you this morning I'm doing great, Ryan. How are you? I'm good, and thank you for asking. You believe Matt. Why? <laughs> uh, yes, I do. Um, I think, you know, with her sending in the email and just saying how his behavior been, has been really strange, and that she mentioned herself that he had even said that she needed to get um, a sitter to help her watch the kids for the weekend and how she thought that was really, really weird. And then the fact when he came on the air uh, and he said, you know, that's why I needed you to get someone is because of that, you know, that he had this planned out for her. And uh, so when he said that, I was just kind of like, well, it all makes sense. So had he not arranged or suggested somebody watch the kids over that weekend, had he not done that, would have you, would you have believed him or not? Um, I want to say I probably would have been kind of in the middle about it. Um, it just makes a lot of sense that if, uh, if a husband is hunting a uh, a weekend with his wife, they have to arrange something for the kids because mm-hmm. they have kids. Mm-hmm. So to me, that was just kind of like, oh, he's totally telling the truth. And then the fact that it, they're going away to a place where they used to go to before they had kids, you know, she felt so relieved when once he mentioned Palm Springs. So to me, that was another indicator that he was kind of telling the truth. Well, you're a very good listener because you mm-hmm. picked up on all of that. And Genevieve, <laughs> I think that Vicky thinks the same way you think. I think his wife actually is thinking the same way. Thank you so much for calling. Now, I want to just bounce for a second to Acton because is it Laurie or Larry? Larry. Or is it Larry? <laughs> Larry. Yes, that's the one I thought. So Larry, Larry, you like me are not buying it, right? No, I don't believe it for a second. I mean, if he was planning to take her away for the weekend, he would have gotten his own sitter. If my my, I mean, how, he has right. to find a sitter to hang out with her and the kids. How, would it? I mean, you would find somebody that you would know 100 percent is comfortable staying at your house with your kids while you're out of town. No way. I think mm-hmm. he had a plan for somebody else. Mm-hmm. I, I've I've not mm. been this clear in a long time. I agree with you. <laughs> Thank you, Carmen in Inglewood. Carmen, where do you stand on this I- I- important totally. relationship between Vicky and Matt? 
I totally agree with you and Larie. I was listening to Genevieve like, girl, if, if, if my husband was planning a trip, I, I mean, and he asked me, oh, well, no, 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 let's say this. If I knew that he said, oh, um, find a babysitter for the kid, I would have thought something. I wouldn't have forgotten that. That mm-hmm. was important. I think I was mixed. I fell for the okie doke at first. I was like, oh, maybe he doesn't want to deal with the telemarketer when Sisney calls. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But he messed up mm-hmm. when he mentioned the kids. I would remember my husband telling me, find a sitter. Like Larry said, or Larie, I'm sorry, girl. Larie <laughs> said, he, you would have found your own sitter. Why wouldn't you find the sitter if you wanted to keep the surprise? Right. Yeah. I, I, think, just- I, I think, Carmen, matter of fact, I'm almost positive that you're right. Mm-hmm. And I know, Sisney, you disagree on this one, mm-hmm. but but this is pretty clear. It's yeah. pretty clear. Yeah, I'm starting. I'm starting to turn. See, I'm we got her coming. The, we got her coming. We got her. All right, you you take care, coming. Have a good day. Thank you for listening, Inglewood. Christina Ryan's Roses broadcasting to you in Fontana this morning, and we heard from Vicky. Her husband, Matt, acting shady. He says, oh, the reason I wasn't sending flowers was because I just didn't want to do it. And then secondly, the reason I've been acting so strange lately and said I have to go away for a weekend is because I was planning a surprise getaway for us to Palm Springs. Christina, I don't believe him. Sisney's on the fence. A lot of others do believe him. I think his wife believes him now that we've mm-hmm. put them on the air. But you have a theory that did not cross my mind. Go ahead. Hi. I do have a theory. I think the reason that he didn't want to send flowers was because he's cheating with another man. And it's mm-hmm. a little more unconventional to send flowers to another man. He almost mm-hmm. sounded offended, like you guys said. And the whole Paul the Springs thing, that's definitely a hot zone for gay couples. So what wow. what, what led you, though? G- connect the dots. What oh. led you to that conclusion? I think in his voice as well. You could almost kind of hear his voice has a little bit of that, you know, uh, staff in it. I have, like, quite a lot of uh, gay male friends. It definitely sounded like he's hmm. cheating, and you could tell... The way he questioned, do I love my wife? You don't question that. You know, you answer right away, yes. I will say, so. I will say, there. Mm. I, I don't know what's happening, but there was something very curious about how he really didn't want to talk to you, Sissini, and, and wanted to have nothing to do with any opportunity to send flowers to anybody about right. anything. He wanted to get off that phone. Definitely, and I up. definitely like if think just that hang it's unconventional to send flowers to another man. Well, I, so if that was the case, I do like low white flowers. <laughs> I do like I do like flowers that are not too high, low and white. I do, um, and I love an orchid. I like that, I like an orchid too. But Christina, thank you for listening, Fontana. You're welcome. Thank okay, you. Bye. Uh, just on the flowers tip, I I, I do. I think they're beautiful. Yeah, what it's, else do you like? <laughs> well, I like long walks on the beach. I like Aww. small horses to ride. Um, small. You're not supposed to ride small horses. <laughs> oh, you're not? That might be why I always get those looks. Um, no, I like flower arrangements that are low. Yeah, so when you're really sitting modern. across from somebody, you can actually see them. It's the worst when you got something in your in your face. I know. Interesting, Christina. I did not see that at all, but could be a possibility. Well, I don't know if we should take Darlene because this... What did you want to say to Sisney about the Ryan's Roses call? I think that he may have been, you know, on alert because the street name was mispronounced. It's Again? Actually, I believe it's Peyton. Peyton? What did I say? Peyton. Uh, no, I said I said Peyton. We're, we're, well, we look, can pull the audio. We'll pull the audio. It's neither here nor there. But I, I, it is interesting. Like we have so many streets in Southern California that mm-hmm. look one way and sound another. You definitely know when people are from out of town when they call it Sopavita or yeah. Wilshire, <laughs> Wilshire, right? Or, totally. Or even Orange County. I mean, no one says that. Orange County. What do they say? Yeah. OC. Oh no, no one says OC. Yeah. And I think that that's why he became more on guard at that point. Okay. Well, Sissy, okay. did a great job, nevertheless. Um, all right. Take yeah. care.
Or if they Thank say you. they say I have to take the highway, you know. Yeah, nobody you says know. that here. I five. No, it says I. It's yeah. the yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I four oh five. I spy someone from out of town, <laughs> and it's you, Peyton. 